Hello children, let's learn about caterpillars and butterflies today. Butterflies are one of the most beautiful insects in the world. Can you see they have four bright and colorful wings. Tiny scales on their wings make up their unique patterns and designs. Like all insects, butterflies also have six legs, a head, thorax and an abdomen. Butterflies like other insects are cold blooded which means their bodies are the same temperature as the air around them. This is the opposite of warm-blooded. We humans and all mammals are warm-blooded, which means unless we have a fever, our bodies will remain at a constant temperature no matter how hot or cold it is outside. Butterflies live in places such as forests, grasslands, the Arctic regions and even in your garden or backyard. But did you know that the beautiful butterflies that you see were actually once tiny little caterpillars? You might wonder how a tiny worm looking insect changes into a beautiful butterfly with wings. Well, let's find out. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages. It all begins when a female butterfly lays anywhere between one to hundreds of eggs on a leaf. The eggs are extremely tiny and are about the size of the head of a needle. Caterpillars begin to grow inside each egg. Once the eggs are ready, they hatch and out come baby caterpillars or larvae. This is the second stage. These baby caterpillars eat the leaves they were attached to when they were born. The second stage takes about 5 to 10 days and lasts until the caterpillars grow into adulthood. They have strong jaws to eat leaves for food. So they keep on eating and eating and eating to grow bigger and bigger until they are fully grown. As it grows bigger, the caterpillar skin becomes too tight for its growing body. Therefore, it sheds its skin and grows a new one. This is called molting. Caterpillars do this a couple of times before becoming fully grown. The third stage is the pupa stage when the caterpillar attaches itself to a branch and hangs upside down using a bit of silk it produces. For the final time, the caterpillar sheds its skin to reveal a really hard layer called a chrysalis. Sometimes people call a chrysalis a cocoon but they are not the same. A cocoon is spun by a moth and made from silk. A chrysalis is a hard covering that appears after a caterpillar sheds its skin the last time. While the caterpillar is in the chrysalis, the cells of the caterpillar turn into the cells of a butterfly. This process is called metamorphosis. The final stage is when the adult butterfly breaks free. It slowly comes out of the chrysalis and spreads its wings to fly high. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. There are many more creepy crawlies to learn about in this series, so do keep watching.